Hey guys, I am back. And I told you Richie's camera is the bomb. I'm so happy he's letting me use his phone. Not that he had a choice. Um, because my memory is still full. I haven't been on in roughly, uh, I can't even remember. But the last couple of times I used Isaiah's laptop to record my Dollar Tree hauls and I did not like it at all, but it was what I had to do for the time being. Right now I am on here and it is looking much better, so I hope that you guys are going to be able to really see the products now, thankfully. I do have another Dollar Tree haul. This is about three or four different Dollar Trees over the last week and I have everything here that I want to show you. I hope everybody is having a great week. I hope everybody um, had a great week and now we are into the weekend. It has been a long one and I am glad that this weekend we are going to be able to take some time to ourselves. Hope that everybody else gets to as well. So I'm going to get started. Richie, you might hear him in the background. He's already warned me he has to start cooking dinner. Isaiah's upstairs. He's got some things going on. Um, he might run through in a little bit, so hopefully the dog won't start bar um, barking once he starts messing with the food in the kitchen. I am sitting in the living room with all the stuff, and I am going to show you. So this is a Dollar Tree haul, but it's also, um, I just wanted to show you this really cute hat that I found at Five Below with Richie um, when we went there. I was trying to find canvas sneakers that were just all white, and um, unfortunately they didn't, they, I think that they did have them, but they were out of stock when we went. But I did find this really cute hat. It's the only thing that we got. And it's just me. It's tie dye and everything is tie dye right now. And that is going to be another video, another day that he's home with me so that I can use his phone to make that video. I've got a lot of tie dyeing stuff going on right now, but I will explain that in a um, video, maybe hopefully this week when he gets home from work in the evening, I can jump on and show you what I've been doing with that. I've been extremely busy and um, it, oh, here comes Isaiah right now, speaking of him, so let's see what he needs before I keep talking. I need my Hi, phone. he needs his phone. Okay, so that's good. He doesn't need me for anything. But um, I got a lot of things going on right now. It kind of started out with just like a fun filled birthday day. Um, but now it's turned into something else. Uh, but I'll share that with you a little bit further into the week. So I got this app not only because of the tie dye, but because of what it says. And the way that it says it, I think is really cool. It says, stay weird. And that would be me. So, um, I got it because it said that and it's unique. And that's what I was going with. And I thought that was really cool. So, everybody is congregating in the side of the living room. So, I don't know if there's going to be any dog barking or anything like that. I'm just kind of waiting to see before I start. But everything's quiet right now. So I picked up this bag. Now this is the Dollar Tree stuff. I picked up this bag. It's really big. Um, the quality of it is not as thick as the other ones that I had been getting prior. Um, this is definitely a very thin papery thing. I wouldn't put too many things inside of it, but I loved the color of it. The color of it's really nice. I don't know if this one has a snap. I don't think it does. Let me, yeah, it does. It has a snap. Just take the tag off of it. It has a snap to, um, sorry, for, my hands have dye all over them from, um, tie dyeing. So there is a snap on it and I love the color of it. And I love what it says, going, enjoying every moment. That's my thing. That's my theme. And so I grabbed that. I would just put probably just light stuff to be able to carry that around with me or bring my 
my notebooks and stuff with me in the car so that they stay together and stay organized. So I grabbed that because I like staying in the color on it. I needed another mailing envelope and I get the really, really big ones from the Dollar Tree. It holds a really decent amount of stuff. And normally when I ship it, it's basically the same price as what I would pay, um, depending on what I put in it. But normally what I, what I send comes to roughly about $15, which is the price of the flat rate boxes that you can get from the post office that hardly fit anything for $15. So this is a really, really big um, security envelope. It has uh, that really sticky adhering stuff that you literally cannot get off. You have to tear it really. Um, it's really difficult to open. But I grabbed that because I need to mail out some hot, some stuff. I feel like I'm melting down. Let's just stop for a second because honestly, it's hot. It's hot. And my mother would probably be thrilled to hear me say that because normally I take the heat really well. Um, I haven't been feeling excellent this week and the heat's been getting to me. Uh, you know, my PCOS has been really rough on me this week. I'm having hot flashes. She is going to watch this and laugh. And yes, I am admitting that I am hot. Mom, I am hot. I normally have this argument with her regularly throughout the summer times because she's like an Arctic queen and loves everything cold and icy and freezing and can't stand the summer or anything like that. And I am a tropical girl that loves the warm weather, loves the summertime, always have since I was small. But this week I am not tolerating it too well and I am not feeling so hot. So I am sweating. I am sweating and I am trying to get it together. So please bear with me while I'm trying to get through this Dollar Tree haul. If I have to stop, I hope I don't look sweaty. It doesn't look like it from here, but hopefully you don't see anything um, perspiring on me. Uh, so anyways, so let me get to the food first. These waters were back in. So I grabbed four of them and they are the wild berry. These are normally uh, $2 at my grocery store that I uh, shop at. And this, the same exact one was at the Dollar Tree. It's just flavored water uh, for a dollar. So I picked up four of them. I'm not going to lift up all four, but I picked up four packages of them. And that's what we've been drinking just for a little taste of something other than just plain flat water. So I don't know if you guys, you know, we need to stock up on drinks and stuff. It's hot out. Even if you're up this way, you know, up north, we've been running into the high 80s, really like to mid 90s. The humidity has been um, quite intense and these waters have come in handy. We usually put our waters in the freezer to get them a little icy and stuff. And then uh, we drink them with that little ice after we shake them up. They taste so good, especially when they have a flavor in them. So check your Dollar Tree to see, because that's almost the same price as what I pay for like a 24 pack of Poland Springs at the grocery store. And at least this has a little bit of flavor in it. So I grabbed those. And then we needed to stock up on our favorite spice that we keep being able to find at the Dollar Tree. And this is the Kingsford brand, the garlic and herb. It tastes so good. I We've already blown through at least six of these in the last couple of months. So he's almost out of the other one that we have. And I picked up two more just so that we would have a backup. We put it on absolutely everything. Um, uh... All different types of meat we we put it on he sprinkles it on everything and seriously we have not found anything that it doesn't taste good on so we use it more often than not and I needed to grab some and then I was planning on making just like individual size pizzas tonight and so I picked up another pack I get these on a weekly basis there's 12 in here um, 
for tea. I've never honestly even read the package. I'm not even going to try. That's what it looks like. There's 12 in here. We eat them with roll-ups with the tuna packets, to which I was able to find this week, which I was glad because they helped me with um, just grabbing a quick lunch. The, this one is my favorite. This is the roasted garlic and herb from the Bumblebee brand. You just rip off this top part. There's a little spoon in here. Then there's another slice so that you can actually get the tuna out. You scoop it on to one of these wraps. Sometimes, because I'm an olive girl, if you've watched my videos, you know, um, I just chop up some olives. I put it on top of the tuna, wrap it up, and that's lunch. And sometimes I'll sprinkle other things in there like diced up pickles and what have you into the wrap and that's it. But I needed to get some more of these because I was going to do the individual size pizzas tonight for dinner, but then everybody was like sick of just kind of like eating sandwiches. It's been so hot. Nobody's really been able to function <laughs> after the, the long days that we carry out and then having to come home and think about dinner and stuff. So we've been doing wraps for dinner. We've been doing, um, we did tuna, tuna, like actual cans of solid albacore, um, tuna cans, mixing it up with tuna and mayonnaise and making like a tuna salad out of it and having it on toasted bread with a little soup on the side, um, like a tomato soup or what have you. And just like light quick things because the humidity is killing all of us. Isaiah works right now 40 hours a week. Richie works, I can't even count anymore, but his shifts are endless in their 12 hour shifts. So when he leaves in the morning and by the time he comes home in the evening, he's gone for a 14 hour day. I'm the only one here, so I'm running around doing everything plus working during the day. And um, there's just a, not enough time to like meal prep and stuff. I really got to get it together. Um, I have been doing good though with dieting, not really dieting, but um, eating on a schedule, like making sure I grab something for breakfast where normally I've gotten into the routine of skipping it. I've made sure that I've had a wrap or something for lunch just to make sure that I'm keeping my metabolism going. I've been very active in the heat. Um, I feel, I haven't weighed myself, but I feel a little lighter this week. I feel, um, I feel like things have changed in my body just over the last week of drinking a ton of water and stuff and just, you know, plugging along and being physical and stuff like that. So, so I've been trying to be careful anyhow. And then we start walking next week, so I'm excited about that because my cousin and I are going to start walking for an hour. Um, but this week was my birthday, so I had to reserve this week for a little bit of cake on my birthday. And that's what, why I didn't start walking this week, but I have been careful all week other than my birthday cake. So this was supposed to be with this that also came from the Dollar Tree, and this is from the... Montalbano? Montalbano? Is that what that says? Um, I don't know. Um, basil pesto sauce. And this is what we usually eat. We put the pesto on here. Uh, sprinkle cheese, usually like a low fat uh, sprinkle cheese on there. And then, you know, Izzy sometimes will put pepperoni or whatever with just regular sauce. It just depends. I always eat the pesto one um, with a ton of minced garlic, uh, sometimes olives chopped up. And this I was thinking for dinner tonight, but then everybody's sick of the wraps right now, sick of like all of that like light stuff. So tonight we're actually going to make a stir fry. Um, and Richie's going to deal with that tonight because I've had it. I've cleaned all day. I've been working this morning. We've been doing so much stuff today and I'm just kind of over it. So um, I'm going to do this Dollar Tree haul and then go all back, clean my deck and get my pool ready for tomorrow morning because um, we're going to, it's Saturday and we're just going to chill. So anyways, 
I did find one more of these, which I'm excited about. I have three in the cabinet already, but these are so good. And they make about two servings in the cup once you get it, you know, to spoon it out onto somebody's plate. You can kind of divide it in half and put it on two different plates. So, and then that will take the whole container. This is the Minute brand of the garlic olive oil. Um and jasmine rice it's really good it's really good and of course i put olives in that too i don't know what my obsession with olives is but i love it so that's what i do with it um and that's really good like if you have like fish one night like a haddock or something or tilapia um nice and flaky fish with the rice on the side some olives you know some garlic in there and stuff that I, that's yummy to me so isaiah and richie absolutely love these i don't know where these came from at the dollar tree but i've been finding them for the last couple of weeks they're obsessed with them they really do taste good they definitely have a kick to them um i'm i'm not a spicy girl as i've said a million times before but these are not really too too bad they don't leave that kind of like zing in your mouth afterwards for too long it's just very mild um late july is the brand and this is the bacon habanero uh tortilla chips and they're a pretty big bag they're 5.5 ounces and they love them so as he said whenever you see them please make sure you pick them up because they're fantastic so i've just been keeping them in the cabinet now to move on to something else um the hair aisle everything is popping right now at the dollar tree let me tell you and the reason being is because they're putting out all of their back to school stuff so the back to school stuff is starting to really stock up in all the stores around me and i am not going back to school myself but i am having a blast finding the stuff for the from the back to school aisles this is one of the headbands that I showed you a while ago. Uh, this is that kind of like suede feeling, that really light lilac purple. It holds my hair back. It looks cute. I love it. These are the heart earrings that I also showed you that I found at the Dollar Tree. It came in a pack of three. Um, these were the heart hoops that were in it and there's two other sets of studs uh, for, the, for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And I love them these heart hoops so much they are making me so happy um so i've found and already showed you in other hauls all of the other headbands that i found and clips and things like that and i also found this just the other day which is kind of like a really light denim with a little um a little pattern on it and I can't wait to wear that and then this is tie-dye which tie-dye is here and I love it it is my childhood it is everything that we used to wear tie-dye fluorescent everything is coming back my scrunchies are here everything is wild and loud and exciting looking and fun and festive and I'm loving that it's all coming back. And I think it's funny that the kids think, oh, you know, this stuff is like, no, no guys, we had it, we had it. And that was like the best, the best era of all of that, like dressing and stuff in the eighties and early nineties. And so I am loving that it's all back, all of my stuff that I worshiped so much. So I'm having a blast bringing it all back in to my house as I'm finding it in the stores. So this is a tie dye headband, just like the other one, but with the tie dye with the pink and blue mixture, there's a little purple like um, tint to it in some areas because of the, the shading on it from the tie dye. So I'm excited to put that on. And then I found these bandanas, which I am in love. I am in love. This is a tie-dye kerchief. 
I'm gonna put it in my hair. I might even wear it as like a kerchief like I used to back in the day. I'm excited for that. I like the white one too, but I definitely got it for the tie-dye kerchief. Putting it in my hair. I'm so excited. The things that I've found, I've been like a raving lunatic in the store. I've been so excited. I've been like gasping and people are laughing at me and they see my cart and they're like, wow. And then they see how I'm dressed. I mean, look at me. These are my eyeglasses. And these are actually like, I have a lot of pairs of eyeglasses in every single color, but I pulled out all of my neon ones and stuff because I'm about to start rocking those with my tie-dye shirts and my fluorescent stuff that I'm finding, I am in heaven right now. And then I also found this so cute when I'm deciding like, you know, to just wear my hair long and part it on the side and then kind of swoop back one side and put that heart barrette right in the side there. It has like a nice little snap to it where, you know, that little button fits right in the hole there and it clicks in nice and securely that is adorable it's a heart it's all it's all me it's all love it's all love so i'm excited to have found that then i went and i found these socks and i don't know if you saw the other haul previously that i found a pink pair of striped stock socks but had ice cream cones on it and then i had found a pair that were burgers on one set and then I think it was french fries on the other set and then I had told you guys that I'm actually gonna going to mismatch them so that I'm gonna wear one sock with burger on it the other sock with the french fry and I'm gonna pair them like that so I had found only the ice creams um and I didn't have anything to pair it with but when I went to the store the other day I found the donut so I'm gonna wear one sock with a donut on it, one sock with the ice creams on it, and I'm gonna pair them kinda as just like a fun summery thing with the, the two different types of um, dessert type of stuff, and then wear my hamburgers and french fries at the same time. So I thought that that was cute that I found the donuts. Um, and then this, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite um, I don't know if you would call this lipstick or lip color or whatever. I'm not a, a makeup girl by any means. But several months ago, I found the Velvet LA Colors Lip Mousse. And I have it in two other colors. And it goes on beautifully. And it dries in really good so that, you know, you don't kiss it off and all that stuff. And I love this color and I haven't seen them back in a while. Um, this color is Souffle. Souffle. It goes on. It's so pretty. So smooth. Oh, I just love it. So I haven't seen them in a while. I saw this color. It was the only one there. So I grabbed that. I can't wait to wear it and try it. Um, I would wear probably that color more in like fall. Right now I have my um my like purple one that i had found there a couple of months ago and then the other one it has like a fuchsia pink hue to it and then this i don't even know honestly what this even could possibly look like but because it was from the sinful color brand which i buy a lot of my stuff from walmart that's the sinful brand uh, my mascaras and stuff because they have all different types of shades to the mascaras and I don't really wear a black mascara ever. I usually get the blue or the purple and whatever like other type of colors they have other than just the flat black ones. So I saw Sinful so I had to grab it and I saw Iridescent Lip Color. I haven't tried it yet obviously because it's not out of the package but it does say that it's Iridescent um, Pout Play. I'll have to show you guys what that looks like once I open it up and I loved like the purple color to it and has a little bit of shimmer from what I can tell so we'll see what that looks like on and then so now over here I grabbed 
I grabbed this from my friend Cindy, even though I love it too. I really didn't need like another crossbody. I didn't need a purse. I don't really carry that stuff too often. I kind of just use totes, but I found this and I got her into roller skating about 10 years ago because I used to go roller skating every single Thursday night at our um, roller skating rink that I grew up going to every Friday and Saturday night of my like literally uh, my my tween years and all through my teenage years it was a place to hang out and then when I became an adult when Izzy was getting a little bit older I started going back on the nights that were adults only on Thursday nights so when I started a job back in 2009 and I had met this amazing group of women one of the women I started to become friends with and now she's going to be my lifelong friend and she used to roller skate but she hadn't roller skated in a long time and I got her to come with me well now she roller skates her whole life away everywhere and anywhere she can go she's absolutely um she's a great great uh she roller skates like you could watch her all day so everything for her that has a roller skate on it I get it because I know she loves it and this might be fun because she can wear it while she's out rollerblading or roller skating like on the streets with her group and stuff like that and they go roller skating now I've seen down at the local um, strip down to the beach where they roller skate on the roadway and so you can put all of your personal items in here the zipper is nice and secure um, there's a deep pocket to it, you know, unwind this, you know, crossbody, uh, you know what I'm saying, and just sling it across you, you know your stuff is right against you, you don't have to worry about it. I love all of the stuff on it, but the roller skates are definitely what stands out to me. I kind of wish myself that I had never given up roller skating. It was such a big part of my life for such a long time, um, but maybe someday, or maybe not, because I'm 39 and I'm afraid I'm going to break something at this point, and I don't really want to get into all that again, probably, but it is fun to go watch, hear the music, hang out with your friends. It's just fun for a night out, so I got this for her. I'll give it to her over the weekend and show her what I got her, um, and then I got myself this. I don't know if you can really see it with me behind it. It says mermaid at heart and it's just like a little pouch. And I was thinking that I could put some of my pens and highlighters to leave with me in the car when I'm going over like my paperwork and stuff while I'm working. And um, it's really kind of like a pencil holder that can go right into a binder, you know, for school supplies or whatever, but I'm probably just going to use it to keep my pens and highlighters organized in my car for work purposes. And of course I had to have it because it said something about mermaids on it and it had a tail, so I grabbed it. And then I forgot to show you these while I was showing the socks. I got Richie another pair of socks that have tacos on it. I love the colors on it. It's really cute. Um, I grabbed them. They'd actually be good for around Christmas time too make them an ugly sweater with tacos all over it which I make ugly sweaters ugly shirts every holiday for like the last four years um, I used to work in a day have program with acquired brain injury um, patients and I made a whole room of like 20 plus people including staff um, ugly sweaters and we had an ugly sweater party in our room and it was the greatest thing ever and I decorated it like the winter wonderland it was amazing and the guys absolutely loved it I miss them every single day I left that job I think four years ago now and they've all kind of moved here there and everywhere but I still run into them and I still see them and I love them very much um but I, I definitely like to throw parties, theme things. I just like people to have a good time, be fun and festive, and it's life. We have to make it exciting, right? So, taco socks, that's exciting. 
And then I found this, which I think is really cute because everybody's always asking. We need groceries, you know, what we having for dinner. This has a magnet for the refrigerator. So now we can just write this stuff down on the fridge so that if anybody has any questions, refer to this. Or if you see something that's missing from the refrigerator or the cabinets that needs to be picked up, let me know. Send a reminder. Write down what it is that's MIA so that if I'm running to the store or Richie's running to the store, we can grab it. And on some of these, maybe I can say, okay, for dinner tonight is X, Y, and Z. Make sure that you're, you're ready for it. <laughs> so, and I love all of the food items on here. The taco, I'm trying to get it to focus. The taco, a little drink, a hamburger, uh, like an ice cream, a frap of an ice cream, a piece of pizza. It says, talk about a craving. Taco about a craving. So it's a cute little play on words. So I'm going to put that on the fridge. Hopefully it will entice everybody to communicate about what's going on in the food world in our house. Richie's back. What are you doing? Is it hot out there still? Oh, it's oh good. And then these are the prettiest dot stickers I have ever seen. There are 60 in here. They're from the Crafters Square section in brand that Dollar Tree is putting out. What do they look like, guys? They remind you of a mermaid. And that's why I got them. So I thought maybe I could get these, decorate one of the dollar store frames, put all the dots, around the frame, dress it up a little bit, stick one of our summer pictures in there. Look at them, they're, they're shiny, they're sparkly. I mean, I just wanna kinda of stick them all over me and become a mermaid. So, but I'm, I, I swear to God, I'm really not gonna do that. Um, and then this I found, and this is definitely not a Dollar Tree brand. This is from Project Life uh, Project Life Becky Higgins Sweet Edition um, and they are specialty cards which I think is really cool first of all I got I got two of them because I'd never seen them before and probably once they're gone they're definitely not going to be back so la la love they're really pretty they have that gold that gold shine to them, which you know I love. I bought it definitely because, what does that say? Oh, it says this was good, but I definitely bought it the most, for the most part because of this camera. I love the camera specialty card. And so when I'm like scrapbooking and stuff, I can pretty, oh, and I love the bicycle too. So there are 12 cards in here all together. They're really cute. And so when I'm scrapbooking and I'm arranging my pictures and writing my little notes on the pages and stuff, you know, if the theme of it can incorporate some of these um, that I'm putting in there. The macarons are cute too. Those are cute. So they're cute and I just thought I could use those for putting some scrapbooking stuff together. So I grabbed that. And then, hold on. So then this, I got myself a coloring book. I got myself a coloring book. I've been trying to relax a little bit more in the evenings before I gotta go pick people up from work when I have a few minutes to myself. And I just organize all of my crayons and markers and stuff into some bins in my craft room. And then I started flipping through this book in the Dollar Tree because the things on the front kind of just drew me to it. And there was one particular picture in here that I knew I wanted to get the book for so that I could color in it. Where is it? I mean, the pictures are cute anyways, honestly. The pictures are adorable. It's just a regular coloring book. It's fairly big, too. I love the fairies, too. Those are really cute pictures to color. I have some really good Crayola crayons. Here it is. 
the mermaid page. So I thought, hey, I, I like to color. I haven't colored in a while. So I wanted to get this and have a relaxing evening and do some coloring. He's cute too. He's cute. So I grabbed that for myself and then I saw this book and I actually got it for my little girlfriend, Anjali. I'm going to go drop it off over at her house, my friend's daughter, Anjali. It's really cute. It's called A Mega Rad Notebook, Fiona and Cake's Adventure Time um, with cool character cards. I don't know who this girl is. I don't know if she's a character that is not only in books. I don't know if it's a, a, a TV program or something like that, a cartoon that kids watch. I don't know. But the book is really big. And you can write and draw in it. It tells you all kinds of like instructions of what to do on every uh, page. Welcome Fiona and Cake's Land of O. Um, there's all kinds of activities to do in this. Like right here, let's see. Now read your first draft. Oh, read your first draft. So they, they've even got writing pages in here where you can kind of come up with your own version of the story. They've got pages where they tell you to draw certain things and practice certain illustrations yourself. Um, party on. What's the coolest party you've ever been to? What made it so amazing? And then it gives you the pages to share your thoughts. It's kind of like a really cool diary to kind of keep track of what you've got going on. And then these are the cards in the back. Can you guys see it okay? I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it. So I don't know who this is, but Angelie, this is yours. And so I'll be over to drop it off when I can this week. I thought it was a cool book. It's pretty big. It's got a decent amount of pages in it. Let me see how many pages in total it has. It has 109 pages in it to write and doodle in and, and all kinds of activities that it tells you to do. So hope she enjoys it once she gets that. These I'm going to kind of save for last. But I also got this scarf, which I thought was so pretty. All the colors of the rainbow in it in that like aztec -y color um, pattern. Really, really cute. Wrap my hair up in it with a cute little bow on top. I'm sorry that this is a long haul. I probably honestly got like another 20 minutes. So hopefully you guys will hang out with me for a few more minutes. Shut me off, mute me, put me on pause, and then pick me back up when you guys have time. There's some really cute stuff still, so I'm working through the pile. And then these I grabbed because I just like mirrors, and I love the color of these. Wait, that's not it. I love the color of these, and these are, have the magnetic strip on the back, and I am going to take them out and put them on the refrigerator because sometimes when we're just running through the house and we just want to check really quick to make sure we're all good in the hood hi you can see everything okay you can see my tripod with me on there hi um so anyhow let me try to get that back so it's a magnetic mirror from the jot brand i got the blue one and the pink one and the purple one because those are all of my favorite colors. I'm going to take those out and I'm going to just sprinkle them around on the refrigerator so that if anybody needs to check themselves quick before heading out toward the front door, then there is a mirror available to do so. And then I grabbed myself a couple of frames because I needed to frame some stuff. I just actually went and picked up my marriage certificate and we are going to frame it. So I picked up an 8x10 Frame. I get these all the time. I love this, um, this detail on it right here. That is normally why I pick it up. Let me get out of it. Maybe it will focus. Um, or maybe not. So anyhow, that's the frame. It's an 8x10, so I'm going to stick our marriage certificate in it. And then I have another picture 
um, of us on our wedding day that I wanted to put up on the wall behind us and I got it in a five by seven and this one I have never seen before I love it it's like a speckled um it's like it's supposed to be like a metal metallic -y look with like speckled like black flecks all over it and I've never seen it before it has a stand in the back and the little hooks to um hang if you wanted to hang it so I grabbed that and I think that is super cute and then I got Izzy some more car stuff. So what happened last week was Isaiah wanted to clean his car. I had already bought him everything under the sun from the Dollar Tree to clean his car on a weekly basis. But I don't remember what happened. And he was like, oh, let's just drive it through the car wash. We ended up spending only $9 for the car wash, but car wash didn't do anything to the car. It literally looked a mess afterwards, and it was disappointing to even have spent just the $9. So I said to him, why don't you just use the stuff that I bought you from the Dollar Tree, because I made him a huge set of all the things that I found over time, um, knowing that he was getting his car months ago, for him to wash his car on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, and um, he hadn't broke it out yet. So after the $9 car wash, we came home, and then... He got into all of his supply and he's used most of it up after a couple of car washes in the driveway and he loved all of it and his car looks fantastic after he was done washing it. So I needed to grab a few more things to restock what he has used up and grab some backups. This is the driver's choice glass wipes and there is a 40 count of wipes in here so I got him two packages. He said that they work really well. And then I also got him more of this. And this is a name brand, obviously, that you'd find at like a regular store. This is the Amaral brand all-purpose car wash. He loved it. It's a full-size bottle. It's 10 fluid ounces. So he only had one of them. But he's used a lot of it in the last couple of times that he's washed his car. I found more of them. So I grabbed three just in case when they're gone, they're gone. And then they don't come back to the Dollar Tree. Because you're going to pay more than a dollar when you pick them up at other places if you find that brand. Um, and then he didn't have this yet. This is also from the driver's choice. This is the microfiber hand mitt. Use wet or dry, lifts dirt, um, grime without scratching or streaking finish. And then it has that, that pilly little, it's so soft. It's a mitt. You stick your hand right in there. Dry off your car. No scratch, no nothing. And I like the color of it. Look, it matches my glasses. You see, there's always a theme. There's always a theme and Richie's laughing at me. Richie's laughing at me because he knows that my life is like a whirlwind of rainbows and sunshine right, and, box of and butterflies and unicorns and mermaids and bright and colorful. Funny thing really quick, when I met Richie, there was like literally no color in his life whatsoever. Everything was like black and white and some taupe, which is the worst color that anybody could have ever put on the planet into this world. So <laughs> and his house was ugly and boring. And, and I was like, whoa, this is like a guy's place. Yikes. So now he's like all colorful like me and he actually likes it. I didn't even force him. But because I'm a bright person then he started to let me incorporate things. And now today we went to Walmart and he got a pink t-shirt and a purple t-shirt and a really like nice baby blue t-shirt and it looks good on him. So he's got clothes of every color in the rainbow he lives in this house with all of this stuff around him and he actually likes it so that's what i did for richie you're welcome i didn't richie. like it i wouldn't have a choice <laughs> he wouldn't have a choice but he does like it so he's just being out um he does like it he told me he likes it so don't listen to him don't listen to him um so I need to do some organizing. The refrigerator, it, it makes me really feel anxious. These two get home and nothing ever stays the same as what I implement when they are not here and try to get like organized in the house and even the fridge. 
Like, I don't understand why condiments come off of the door and then they end up all over the refrigerator. They end up everywhere but back on the door. So I'm tired of it. So I got some organizing stuff. I want to clean up the fridge really, really well. Try to organize it back in. I don't really know what I'm going to use these for, but I found them at the Dollar Tree. And they were on clearance for some reason for 50 cents a piece. And they have measurements on them. 8 ounces, 16 ounces, 24 ounces so that you can measure stuff out. I don't know what I'm going to put in them yet. But I found them for 50 cents each. So I grabbed four of them. And I'm going to use those to try to do some organizing in the refrigerator. And then this also. I grabbed these to try to organize the overflow of condiments that might not make it back to the door. So that the surface of like, um, the you know, the tiers of the refrigerator stay clean instead of like ketchup spilling over in the bottle and then it ending up like a mess on the bottom of the you know the thing it drives me nuts so i got these there's two to a package there from cooking concepts they're organizer baskets so i got three different sets of them so there's six all together and then when they're out of here and they're at work and i'm back from work I am going to get in that refrigerator. I am going to scrub it yet again. And then I'm going to put the bottles that can fit in here and kind of make a space in the lower level. Um, and maybe not even on the door. I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'll show you when I'm done and see if, you know, it sparks anybody to want to clean their fridge. I don't know if anybody has the fridge problems that I do. But, and then Isaiah needs a basket for his room. So I got him a little waste basket uh, from Essentials. It's a decent size. I like the white wire. And then I got him his own trash bags. They're uh, tall kitchen bags. They're actually scented. There's 22 13 gallon sacks and it's mountain air scented. So I got this and that for his room upstairs so that he can kind of like get it under control. And then I also got him these organizing bins that I want to put on some shelves. I got four of them um, to put on a shelf that he has up there. They're, they're really, I opened one up that was loose in the store and they have like a good, um, they have a good deep uh, bottom to them. That's the measurements on it right there. And it's kind of just like a tan color. Uh, it's from the Essentials brand, the collapsible storage container. So I got four of those for him to be able to kind of get his stuff organized into on his shelf. And then I got this basket. So what I'm thinking with the regular laundry basket is that I buy a lot of storage bins just at the store. And usually you can spend five and much higher to get a storage bin. These are a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And yes, it is a laundry bin. But I am probably going to try to buy a bunch of these. I only got one for now, though, because um, I wanted them all to be white, and I couldn't find any other white ones. They had them in a lot of different colors. Um, and I want to get upstairs in the attic and try to sift through my stuff and organize them into these bins, um, into these laundry bins. Um, and I thought that they would be kind of cool to hold all of that I make because it's circular and it will kind of keep it contained and together um, in a basket and then start to really get the attic under control with what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. And then they're in these see-through baskets that I don't have to worry about opening and closing every time to see what I've put in them. Obviously you can see through it and then if I want to use the stuff then I just grab the whole basket and bring it downstairs and use what I want out of it. The bins are kind of big and cumbersome and um, it's kind of difficult to get down from the third floor with the big bins with all that stuff in it. So this kind of also makes me not put as much in it so that it doesn't hurt me when I'm trying to carry it out of that space. And then this is, we're almost done. This is the jar 
that Isaiah actually broke in the bathroom that I said I would probably never find again. I actually found one on the lower shelf and I am so excited. I, I had just said probably never find it again and then a couple of days later I did find it and it is so pretty. Look at the dye all over my hands from tie dyeing. Ignore my tie dyed hands. Um, yes, so that is what I put my Q-tips in on the sink. I already bought that other jar. I'm probably just going to switch it out and use that other jar for something else because I loved this one in the bathroom. And I'm happy to have found it. It's a good size. I love the color of the lid. It's my fave. And then Candy is using my rugs for a bed. Um, hold on. Beep, beep. I'm going to bring the dog with... This is literally... Oh, I was going to try to pick her up on the rugs because she was laying on my rugs. I use one of these rugs from the Dollar Tree already over underneath where the kitchen sink is while I'm standing doing the dishes. I need to replace it because it's been down there for a year so you know it just needed to be replaced and they're only a dollar at the Dollar Tree so I went and grabbed one to put a new one down and I love this one this one is so cute it says home with the heart it's got that nice um, backing to it so that it doesn't slip around on the floor when you're standing on it I love the colors in it and the rug and the threading it's very pretty for a dollar they usually always have rugs in all of the dollar trees that i go into i just haven't picked any up for a while and then i got this one that says blessed and i'm going to put that in the back entryway um leading to the outside this is kind of like a flat boring threading but i love that it said blessed on it because that's what i feel every day so I grabbed that one. And then this is last. This is last, I promise. This is last. So I found these, and I've never seen these before. And they're, of course, just a kid's toy. They're the unicorn dolls. There's one doll inside. Of course, it's a surprise. You collect them all. And I thought it would be fun to try to look and see which ones I got. I think that they are adorable. They're really cute. I've never seen them before, so I was curious, and I thought I'd grab them. So let's open them and see who we got in these little packages. She's cute, and she has red hair. And I, and it's funny that I just opened this one first, because when I was little, I always had red-headed dolls. I have a thing for redheads. I always have since I was little. All my Cabbage Patch kids had red hair. If I found any other dolls that had red hair, um, I always had to get them. They are my favorite. Oh my goodness, she's sweet. I think she is adorable. I wish, there she, nope. All right guys, how do you, oh, there she is. She's adorable, I love her. She's a unicorn doll. I don't know if any of you have seen these out yet at your Dollar Trees, but I had never seen them, so I'm glad I grabbed them because they're just, they're really cute. And the miniature, which intrigues me. Um, I always like small stuff. Izzy always liked really small, intricate looking stuff uh, for toys and, and everything. The smaller, the better. We always, he always, um, enjoyed those I can't remember what they're called but the squishies I think I think that they were called squishies and they were teeny tiny little squishy little things that had all this detail to them and he used to carry them around with him and they used to drop and fall everywhere and we used to have to chase them around I just got her she's beautiful oh focus on her oh I guess that hand trick works guys she is adorable. I love her purple hair and her cat ears. These are, oh, look at her little wings on the back. Can you see it? Look at her little wings on the back. Does the other one have wings? No. Um, those are really cute so far. 
And then last but not least, this is the last one. She's cute too. So I got three different ones, which is cool. I, you know, you take a chance when you're buying these. You never know if you're going to get duplicates when you buy more than one. So I'm glad I got three separate ones that are totally different from the other. She's cute too. How adorable is she? I love her. She has wings too. Well, those are terribly cute. They're cute. They're cute. And I love them. So that's it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful week. I may or may not be on. I know I've been saying that I was going to do this project and that project and record myself um, doing, you know, the crafts that I've had lined up for weeks. But honestly, I just have not been able to get it together and get that stuff lined up. Um, there's not enough hours in the day. There's not enough days in the week. And we've just been kind of running all over the place. It's been hot. It's been my birthday. It's been 3,000 things um, going on. So I just haven't really had time to sit and do my crafting and stuff that I want to get done. I have all my stuff over here waiting for me. It's just when am I going to get to it? So that's all. And um, I'm going to get going because mom's coming over for dinner. And I'm going to go help Richie. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. Everybody stay safe and happy and healthy. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And tell me what part of the Dollar Tree haul um, you liked the most. And if you're going to go out and pick anything up, what were you interested in? All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye, everybody.